In this video, we'll look at four creative techniques you can use in your next motion graphic logo animation. What's up everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name's Sean Gonsalves from Animation Deconstructed and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Let's jump straight into the tutorial. So inside After Effects, I've just got a composition that is 1920 by 1080p. It's 30 frames per second and 5 seconds long. I've also brought in an animated background into the scene. And if you want to know how to do this, take a look at the previous tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description where I describe an entire process of creating different animated backgrounds. I also have a logo and I'm just going to drop this into my scene. And then I'm going to pre-compose this and just call this logo main. Next thing I want to do is just duplicate this so that I've got an unaffected one all the time. Just drop this to the bottom. I'm going to recolor this one so I can see it better. And then I'm going to Control Shift C and I'm going to say logo color. And I'm going to move all the attributes into this composition. I'm going to go inside there. And then what we want to do is actually add the gradient color to this. So I'm going to right click, create a new solid, call this gradient press OK and then come over to effects and presets. Let's just change this to small screen so you can see everything better. I'm going to type in here gradient and I want to choose the four color gradient on this. My logo is sitting in the middle here so I'm just going to bring these in a bit more. And I've picked four colors already so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say 0060 FF the next one down, I'm going to change to 0042FF. Then the next one is FF, 00FF. And the last color is 3F00DF. I'm going to drop this below our logo and I'm going to go to Track Mat and Alpha Mat and close this down and we can go back into our tutorial comp. The next thing I want to do is actually duplicate this so that we have a layer where we'll create the outline effect on this. I'm going to press enter and just call this logo lines, press OK. We're going to add an effect called Vegas to this. So just typing in there, double click and add this. The first thing you'll notice is that it will start drawing in a weird manner. And this is because we are working with the gradient. So if we just go to image contours, go over to the threshold and pull this back until it actually traces the entire logo. It will be around 20% and then pop that back up. I only want two segments to this. Just solo this, you'll see that we are still seeing our logo. I want to have this on a transparent background. Then I also want to change this yellow to a different color, FF7BFA and press OK. And then I want to actually animate this on. Let's just colorize these layers so make that and that and we can see them a bit better. The way to animate this is we're going to use the length and the rotation. Let's just keyframe the length and keyframe the rotation. At the beginning, press U and we're going to move forward to about 20 frames. I want to add these keyframes there again and then moving back to the beginning, I want to just set up where this rotation will be. And I'm going to find a really nice place to start this. Let's say about here, so it starts drawing over here and going to the top. And I'm going to come over here. This looks like it's going a bit fast. I'm also going to drag this over. It's just after one second around here. Still moving a bit fast, so I'm just going to drag back so the rotation is closer together. And then I'm going to take the length down to zero. Just press play and see how this looks. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now what I want to do is add some glows to this. So let's move forward until we can see them. Type in glow and I'm going to double click this to add it. And I'm going to drag this up to about 65. Duplicate this, drag this down a bit. Then make the glow radius a bit higher, say about 25. And then we're going to duplicate this once more. Take the threshold down a little bit more and really pump this up, say about 75. I'm going to unsolo the layer and just change this to additive and just see how this looks. The next thing we're going to take a look at is animating the gradient. Then we'll add some distortion and scale to the reveal to bring these two elements together, as well as an easy way to reveal the gradient logo. 
So the first thing I want to do is start animating this gradient. So I'm going to select the logo. Let's just solo it so we can actually see what's going on. And I want the end frame to be this colorway over here. So I'm going to come over to effects and presets and I'm going to type in CC color offset. So this one right over here, I'm going to double click that. And we can actually animate these phases so that the color of this gradient changes over time. I'm going to pick two of these. So let's say the green phase and the red phase, turn them on and press U. And then I'm going to move to the first frame and I'm going to drag back on both of these. Let's say the green, I'm going to take back to right about here where it's blue. And then the red phase right about there should be good. Now, if I press play, you'll see this animating on the logo. I'm going to desolo that and we can move along and actually play with the scale. I'm going to pop that up. I'm going to create a new null object, drop this to the top and then select our two logo layers and parent them to the null. I'm going to press the S key to scale and I want this to land, let's say about half a second. So about 15 frames in, press the S key, let's move to frame zero and let's scale this right up. But there should be good. I'm going to select both these keyframes, press the F9 key, and I'm going to go into the graph editor. Now just make sure that you're in the speed graph editor just by clicking this button over here. And then I want to select this last keyframe and then just shift and drag until it snaps to the end. And this will make sure that it comes in really fast and it slides into place. The last thing I want to do is scale wipe this logo into place. And I'm going to select that logo and just create a mask around here just with the rectangle tool. So make this pretty big so that we can add a feather to this. Then click and hold down on the pen tool, go to the feather tool and just click and drag in. Then what I'm going to do is press the M key and the Shift U key so we can see all the other keyframes. Turn the mask path on and I want to come to about, let's say when the logo actually hits and I'm going to double click on the mask path so we get the handles, move this off to the side and then just press play and see how this comes on. The last thing I want to do is just add some distortion to this as it comes in. So I'm going to go to the top layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to add an effect called optics compensation. Let's move to about here so we can see this effect coming on. I'm going to change the field of view. Let's really drag up on this and I want to reverse the lens distortion on this. I'm going to go up to about 130, 140 and just keyframe the field of view. I'm at about three frames. So let's go back to zero, take this down to zero and then move over to just past here. And I'm going to take that down to zero again. Press the U key so we can see all those. And I'm just going to easy ease all these keyframes. One thing I want to do is just fade this line out as it comes into place. So I'm going to select the lines, press T for opacity. At about, about this point here, I'm going to move over to 110 and then I'm just going to drag this down. Something I forgot to do is just to add a slight bevel to this logo. So I'm going to select this logo over here, come over and type in bevel. And we want to use bevel alpha and you can see it just adds a nice finish to this logo. Now that we're done with that, we'll take a look at creating the ultra glossy look on the logo. And we're going to create our own reflection map so that we can adjust it to how we need. So in order to create this uh, glossy look, we're going to duplicate the logo again. Just delete the effects off this. I'm going to solo this and just show you that that's what we've got. And we're also going to delete the mask. I'm going to control shift C and I'm going to leave all the attributes inside here so that it's parented still. And I'm going to rename this to logo gloss. And then we can go inside here. What we need to do is create a reflection map. And basically you can download these from the internet. Uh, but what I like to do is actually create these myself so I can control where the light and the dark is and then animate these over my logo. And before we move on, I also just want to scale this logo slightly smaller. So I'm going to take this down to 80%. And then in this gloss area, I'm going to take this down to 80% so that we can see it once we are moving the actual 
uh, gloss over the logo. To start doing this, let's create a new solid and I'm going to call this uh, wall. This can be any color that we want. Press OK, Control Shift C, call this the reflection map and leave all attributes inside is fine. Press OK and we're going to go inside here. We're going to add a gradient ramp. Double click that or drag it on top of the layer. What I want to do is actually create a wall for this. So I'm going to drag over here with my rectangle tool just to make a mask. Then I'm going to change these two colors to be more gray. And you can copy the exact colors that I'm using. So it is 70 three times, so 70, 70, 70. And then the end color, I'm using 16, 16, 16. We can just pull this up, duplicate this, call this floor, press the M key, and we're going to invert this mask so it's at the bottom. I'm going to delete this uh, ramp and I'm going to add a four color gradient ramp. Let's just move this into place over here. Maybe this over here and this over here. First one is 39, 39, 39. Second one, 0 a, 0 a, 0 a. The third one is 34, 34, 34. And the last one is 18, 18, 18. Press OK. I'm just going to move these darker around so we get a bit more variance. What's going to really sell this effect is a nice dark area which we can move over the logo and then a nice little window which will be shining the light in. These can be really abstract so I'm going to create a new solid black layer, hide this. And you'll see how quickly we can create this in After Effects. I'm going to hide that so we can see what we're doing. With it selected we can draw our mask so let's just go around here. Nice dark area. Show that. M twice drag up on the feather and then we're going to create our white window over there so layer new solid make this white and I'm going to hide that the same way just drag over here as I said this really doesn't need to be a perfect artwork Let's just show this and then I'm going to press M twice mask feather just slightly and then I just want to protect the outsides so that when we're moving this over, because we'll set this to add, the black won't show on the logo. So I'm going to create one more dark black layer and I'm going to actually select a safe area. So let's go around like this. Everything on the inside will be protected. Press M and invert this. Press M twice and just add some feather to this. Now going back into the logo gloss, I'm going to change this layer to additive. But this logo right here, we can just select it, change it to a guide layer. I don't want to see it in the main comp later. I'm just using it so that I can actually animate this. So selecting the reflection map, let's just actually stretch this up so we get more of a distortion to this reflection map. Then at zero, let's move this up so it's totally off the logo. Only the black is around that area. Press the P key, turn on position. Let's make this go over about two seconds so it goes over the logo slowly. And I'm going to move down until all the color is past this area here. I'm going to close that down and then back in our main composition, we just need to select the layer and change it to additive, I'm going to turn this solo off and I'm going to also duplicate the logo once more, drag this to the top. We can delete the mask, we don't need that and we're just going to use this as a track mat area. So selecting the logo gloss, I'm going to go to alpha mat. If I just solo that you can see that it's now cutting out that logo area. So what we still need to do is actually create a bump layer for this. So I'm going to unsolo this and then I'm going to come to the top here and let's get rid of these effects. We don't actually need them on here. I'm going to duplicate this, I'm going to control shift C and I'm going to call this logo bump. Leave all the attributes inside so it's still parented to the null when we press OK. And I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to go to layer, layer styles and we're going to create a color overlay. We'll change this to white and then layer, layer styles, stroke. Just turn on the transparency so we can see it. I want this to be black and I don't want the actual edges of this logo to be affected by this glossiness. It'll just look a lot better. Let's change this to five and let's change this to inside the logo. Then I'm going to close this down and back in here we're going to be working with Let's just change this to yellow so that we can see it. The way to achieve this is to come over to the effects and presets, type in CC glass, I'm going to add this effect, go to the surface and we're going to point to the bump map. You already see some things changing. The softness, I'm going to take up above 50, so about 60. Then I'm going to change the height to 100 and the displacements I'm going to drag right backwards to about there. 
then I want to affect the light as well. So I'm going to drop this down and let's change the light intensity. Let's bring us down, let's say about 90. Light height. Let's take that right up to 100 and we should start seeing some nice deformations. Next thing I want to add is CC Blobilize and that's with a BL. So double click that, go to the blobliness and we are going to change the blob layer to the bump. We're going to change the softness. Take that down, let's go below 10, so about eight to be good and you'll start seeing these edges show through. And the cutaway, let's take that to zero just to make sure nothing else is being cut away. I wanna really impact this kind of uh, gloss area so I'm going to add one more CC gloss and let's just duplicate that and drop it to the bottom. And we can just adjust a few things. Let's say the softness, let's go to about 40 and then the displacement let's really drag this back a bit more so around there should start looking really good and the light height just to get a lot more difference in this take this down to 40 something let's say 45 to have a round number going to unsolo this and then just do one ram preview so we can see how this looks we're almost at the finish line, and if you're finding this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button. The end of a logo reveal is extremely important, and what we're going to be doing here is concentrating on the movement and motion to make sure it's punchy and seamless. So what I want to do is just make sure that this logo has a bit of time to breathe. I'm going to move over to about 2 seconds and 10 frames, and then I'm going to go to the null, press the U key to get the scale, press Shift P to add the position properties up, and we can keyframe that, and then turn a keyframe on for the scale. I'm going to move over about 15 frames, and I'm going to scale this down to about 60%. Then I'm going to move this up slightly, because I want to add some words to it, and then I'm going to select all these keyframes, press the F9 key, go to the graph editor. If you want to zoom in on these keyframes, you just need to press this button over here. And then I want to drag over these two and drag this forward until it locks. This will create a nice, smooth, impactful animation there. At this point, I want to add some text. So layer, new text. And I'm going to say motion logo. And let's just drop this down below the logo over here. Then what I want to do is actually create a box above this so that we can actually mask this out as it moves. So just deselect everything, go to the rectangle tool, start drawing over here, drop this above the text layer, select the text and go to track mat alpha inverted mat. Now if we move this text above, it's going to actually mask out above that. Press the P key, turn it on, I'm going to just press U on the null so that I can match this up with the movement there. And then I'm going to go back and just move this up using the shift and arrow keys. Select these two keyframes, press F9, go into the graph editor to select this first one, shift and drag until it snaps. The last thing we need to do is just colorize this to go to white at the same time as the text comes in. So let's just go down to the logo. We're going to go to effects, type in tint, add this, make both white. We're going to drag this down, the amount of tint, turn on the keyframe, move to the end here to match up with the null, drag up on the white, press U to see these keyframes, select both keyframes, press F9, Go to the graph editor, select that first keyframe and shift and drag until it snaps. Turn this off and we'll do our final RAM preview of this logo reveal. If you're interested in seeing more tutorials of mine, take a look at either of the videos popping up on screen right now. Keep animating and until next time.